Hey, welcome back. Uh, I want to build in my S21. It's been a while, it's been about two and a half months since I put on a video and honestly didn't get a lot of work done this summer. Uh, I took on some business projects that kept me busier than I thought. Uh, so much for being retired. Uh, I helped my daughter remodel some of her home. Uh, also took on some additional committee assignments at my local EAA chapter. As a matter of fact, we've got the Ford Tri-Motor coming in tomorrow to start the media rides, uh, and that'll go all weekend. Uh, that was a fair amount of work to get that all organized. Uh, we're looking forward to a successful event. And um, what else? Oh, also playing a lot more tennis than I planned. Joined a couple leagues, and it seems every time I come out here and work, all of a sudden I've got to get ready for tennis. So I'm enjoying that, uh, so I didn't want to back off, but... I certainly have not put a lot of time into the into the S21. I've seen some of these builders go on five, seven years, and I thought, I'll never be one of those guys. Uh, but I'm coming up next month on two years since I got my kit, and I still got a lot more to go. So with that, this episode, I'm going to do the headphone jacks, mic jacks. I put in some Bose limo jacks, also put a USB port in cigarette lighter adapter for charging, mostly in the center console. It's a fairly short video as far as what I got done, but getting back on track when I get some more stuff out and get back to work on the plane and move ahead. So with that, let's jump into it. Uh, I'm going to start working on my headphone mic jacks, and I've temporarily put my center console in here. Uh, These will be for the standard headphones. I'm going to have one USB and one cigarette lighter uh, attachment, which will go direct to the battery so I can do charge. I think I'm going to hook this USB and run a power wire up to this USB breaker up here. So the USBs will be on one breaker, and that's a 7.5 amp. Uh, yeah, that's a 7.5, so we won't, have enough, we won't have a problem running this uh, USB up there. And then these are for the Bose headphone jacks, which I've also ordered. Uh, I may do some customization in addition to this, but for now, that's what I'm going to put in here. I'm also thinking about putting uh, the co-pilot push to talk in here. That might happen. At this point, the co-pilot doesn't have a push to talk, and I've got mine up on my stick, and then I believe the G3 also gives you the ability to do push for talk. But in looking around, I don't have any other option, and I've got a wire marked co-pilot push to talk so i think i'm going to i'm just going to put a button right here so either either pilot or co-pilot can use it um and i've ordered everything for here and i've got to run some power wires and i think oh i i've got these are uh these are the wires that come off the panel they're all mentioned pilot mic pilot headphone co-pilot mic so these all go to here so we'll start getting those hooked. Okay, I uh, inserted this. This is just a matter of enlarging the hole a little bit. And it's got a screw nut on the bottom, so that's in. And then I created a ground wire, which will run to the bus uh, right next to where the center console is. The ground bus I've got there. And I created a uh, power wire that will run to this USB breaker right up here. I've decided to do some tests on some of the wiring I've done up to now. So I uh, fired up the uh, panel uh, and everything seems so I've got my master on, I've got my avionics on. Uh, the GPS did pick up my location, uh, which is good. My low fuel light is on, which is good because my tank obviously has no fuel in it. Uh, I hooked up before I put the caps in the... In the um, um, cement on the ELT connection. I plugged that in, armed it, and ran an ELT test, and that passed. So the ELT is working. I put a uh, trim gauge in for the Ray Allen trim gauge. Uh, that appears to be working. It's, it's not hooked up to, an, to the servo yet, so it's just showing one indication, but it's lit up and it seems to be working. G5 seems to be working. So, uh, up to now everything I've hooked up appears to be working so that's a good sign and uh, we'll keep moving forward the next thing I'm going to work on uh, are the headphone jacks uh, the G general aviation jacks are one headphone one mic for each hookup 
uh, and each one has got three pins on it. The Bose jacks uh, are a single jack, and this is a diagram I found on the internet. It's from Vans, but it basically shows that for the mic and the headphones, each of these wires you split, you come down here, and then to the Bose jack, you, each of these six wires gets hooked up to a terminal uh, for the Bose. Um, this is going to go into my center console. These would be for my, for, for my GA jacks. These would be my Bose jacks down here. This is a cigarette lighter adapter and a USB. I think I did the video of putting those in already. I just read something interesting on a forum. It, it was a Vans forum. And it's about ground loop and radio communications. And basically what happens is if you have items grounded at different locations, there's a slight distance variation between the different grounding. And that creates uh, a separate frequency wave, apparently, and that can cause static or noise in your headsets. So they, they said a rule of thumb is to ground everything to one location. I've got my battery charger hooked up, so that's why there's so many clamps down here. But if you remember, I put a ground bus back here for grounding everything uh, behind the seats, and then a second ground bus up here underneath my uh, uh, avionics tray. I hope that's not going to cause me trouble, but everything from here uh, that I ground, the headset grounds are already put in by my avionics company, but for these and for the push to talk and anything in the, um, the Bose, the Lemo jacks, uh, Bose jacks are also called Lemo jacks, I guess, I'm going to make sure I run all the grounds up to the avionics tray to hopefully avoid that. And I The next step uh, that I'm doing is I'm taking the mic cord and the headphone cord and I'm splicing on or adding an additional wire one will go to the dual GA jack and the other will go over to the Lemo um, Bose jack I uh, soldered on the three wires this is the headphone jack um, so I've got a right a left and a ground so I've soldered those on these remaining three go over to the Lemo Bose jack and I guess I'll solder these on to the Bose jack now to get that started. Then I'll work on the co-pilot wires. On these uh, Bose jacks, I had difficulty trying to identify what the number one pinhole was. And there's a keyway, which you can't see in this photo, but it's a little dent or groove in the uh, ring, which fits a ridge from the jack. And the number one pin is immediately to the left of that. So in my, I identified the keyway. I don't even know if I can, it's there, but I identified it with a little piece of sh white Sharpie and went down. So this would be the number one pin right here. And, and if I look really close, let's see if I can get in the light. They actually have right next to the pin, a little round circle, which I didn't think was intentional, but it looks like it identifies the number one pin. Okay, I have uh, fired up the panel, dialed in SoCal Approach into my comm, hooked up my headphone jack into my newly soldered headphone jack, and sure enough, I am picking up SoCal Approach, even though I'm in my garage. Uh, so it's, it appears my antennas and my headphones are working. Now to move on to that mic jack. Uh, very exciting. My first, uh, first, communication through my new panel. Well, it, it's been a while since I've been working on the plane. I had a couple projects come up. Uh, let me tell you where I'm at and where I think I'm going to go from here. I did finish the wiring of my center console. I've got the two standard double phone jacks. Uh, I did install two Lemo jacks for Bose. The soldering on this is a pain in the neck. The pins are so friggin' small. Uh, I'm not 100% sure that these are going to work. I don't have a Bose to test them. But if any of that solder, just a little tiny pin of it goes over to the next jack, they're not going to work. And I struggled with them for a while. I'm not a soldering expert. If they don't work, they don't work. These have much bigger pins on them. They're much easier to solder. Um, so we'll see if the, if the lemos work. I'm not going to sweat about it if they don't. I did put a push to talk in, so they're pretty easy to install. So I did push, put a push to talk here, 
And then I added a, um, a 12 volt cigarette lighter, which can run a trickle charge or it can actually run my handheld radio if necessary. Then I've got some USBs here as well as a couple of USBs up here. So uh, I, th I like my center console. I think that's going to work out uh, okay. This, uh, this 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter adapter, rather than run it up to my USB uh, uh, breaker, I just ran a wire straight back to my battery and it's got its own 10 amp fuse in it. Uh, this way, this is always working. If I lose everything else, as long as my battery's got a charge in it, uh, this, this uh, cigarette lighter adapter will work. Also, if I'm going to trickle charge my battery with one of the overnight chargers, so I want it direct. I don't want it going through all my, my fuses. So that's where I'm at with that. Then, now I've got, which I think is where I'm going to go, this mass of wires just all over the place. I mean, you're just going to see them all over. I've tried to run them where I think they're going to go. Now that my next step is to try and make sense of all the wires, group them, bundle them, loom them, and run them up the side and clean everything up before I work on my clothes out here. So that's my next step. Well, that's a, that's a good place to end. Uh, that section took about 22 hours and two and a half months. Uh, hack, that's terrible. Um, that brings my project to date to 927 hours. Um, that pretty much finishes up all the wiring after the firewall. A little more wiring when I put the wings on and tail section. Uh, and then, of course, when I mount the engine, there's a lot of wires that go to sensors up front. Um, next, I think what I'm going to do is some cleanup, bundle and run some of the wires a little neater. Put the floor panel, some of the side panels in, maybe get my seats and center console. There's a some work around here uh, and then mount the engine and get working on that. I'll be looking forward to get that. That seems like a big milestone when you get there. So uh, that's what's coming up. Thanks a lot for watching and remember, dream it and just build it.